Mr. Sullivan for questions, please. I should note Mr. Upton's here from Michigan, member of the full committee, and so is Mr. Engel. Uh, if they want to ask questions, they can at the appropriate time. Mr. Sullivan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Hayward, according to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, there is mounting evidence that BP is one of the worst, has one of the worst safety records of any major oil comp company operating in the United States. Is there a deficient safety culture at BP that led to the Deepwater Horizon and other disasters like the refinery explosion in Texas City, Texas, and the Alaskan oil pipeline spill? Uh, I think we acknowledged in 2005 and 2006 that we had serious issues and as a consequence set out to implement systematic change in the culture and safety of BP. I set the tone from the top by saying very clearly safe reliable operations were our number one priority. We've invested billions of dollars in the integrity of our plant. We've recruited many thousands of engineers and technologists into our company including many from other industries such as the nuclear industry and other parts of the chemical and oil and gas industry. And we have changed fundamentally our whole approach to the management of our operations through the implementation of significant changes to our processes. Well, it doesn't seem like that. I mean, if you look at the reports of what happened on the Deep Horizon, uh, it doesn't look like many safety procedures have changed much at all. And uh, Mr. Hayward, do you feel that your safety record compared to other major oil companies is, is uh, is comparable? As I said, it's clear that we had some serious issues to deal with in the 2005-2006 time frame. And we have worked hard to improve our safety performance since that time period. But it doesn't seem to be changing, Mr. Hayward. It, your safety performance doesn't. And it, here's some highlights of your safety uh, procedures. BP had 760 safety violations and you've paid bill millions of dollars, 373 million in fines to avoid criminal prosecution and manipulating the propane markets. Also, if you look at other industries, sir, uh, let's take some of your competitors, for example. Sunoco, you had 760 violations in five years. Sunoco had eight safety violations. ConocoPhillips had eight safety violations. In the same time, you had 760. Uh, Citco had two safety violations the same time you had 760 and uh, Exxon Mobil had one safety violation the same time period you had 760 how in the heck do you, do you explain that uh, as I said we acknowledge the problems that we had in 2005 and 2006 the vast number of those things that you referred to date from that time period uh, and we have made major changes in the company over the last three to four years. You think the changes you made in that time period you're talking about when you were CEO, I understand why you're saying that. Um, do you think that uh, they were using those measures and, and protocols on the deep horizon? To my best knowledge, they absolutely were. You don't think they shortcutted anything on, on the deep horizon? Uh, I, and you're as a CEO of a major uh, company. Looking back, sir, do you think that they, they cut corners? I believe we should await the results of the investigations before we draw conclusions. But sir, you've I had to have looked at some of the some of the results of any kind of your internal investigation. Internally, your investigation did it show any kind of breakdown? It shown anything us that, that you wouldn't like that you with your protocols you said you put in place were any of those shortcutted. The investigation is still ongoing, as you know. It's identified seven areas: the cement, the casing the integrity pressure, well control procedures, and three failures of the blowout preventer. And when the investigation is concluded, we'll make the judgment. Well, I, I'd say that this problem is with your organization and your safety and the culture of your company's safety culture and not a culture of our domestic oil and gas producers as we can see they haven't had the kind of problems you've had with cutting corners on safety. They have a lot of redundancies, contingency plans. Uh, I venture to say that this may not have happened if one of these other companies was operating that rig. Would you say that would be true? I don't think I can make that judgment. Do you think the other companies have different or stricter or uh, 
stricter guidelines with their safety and spend more money on it? And uh, uh, you probably compare yourself to other companies, I'm sure. I can't co make a detailed comparison, but I can be clear that what we've done, we've invested billions of dollars, we've recruited thousands of people, and we've changed significantly our processes, systems, and procedures in the course of the last three years. Well, thank you. I yield back.